it's Mrs. Stevens here. Um, I'm going to do some more circles with you. Uh, let's start with a warm-up. Don't forget these warm-ups are final exam review questions. So they're going back to things we've learned in the past. So question one, what's the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an octagon? So octagon has eight sides. Hopefully you remember that it's eight times, nope, <laughs> 180 times 8 minus 2. 180 times 6. And that comes from, the 6 comes from 6 triangles. So there's 6 triangles. You can divide up the octagon into 6 triangles. And each of the triangles has a um, degree sum of 180, so 6 times 180. All right, a picture is held by a magnet on a refrigerator, slides to the bottom of the refrigerator. This change in position is called a translation. Okay, another word for a slide is a translation. Oh, remember these pictures? These are fun. What is the value of x? So, let's see. We can piece it together here. So, if this is a 50, this is a 50 because vertical angles. This is x, so right here I have a the fan, right? Right there, that's 180 degrees right there. The, that makes up a whole straight line. So I have a 40, a 30, a 50, and an x. 40, a 30, a 50, and an x. That has to equal 180. So that's 40 plus 30 plus 50 is 120. So that leaves me with 60. Okay, fun, fun. See how much geometry we've learned this year? All right, let's talk about arcs and chords. All right, so left-hand side is the vocabulary. There's a picture in the middle, and then the symbols, the mathematical symbols on the right. So first vocab word, a central angle, is an angle whose vertex is at the center. Okay, this angle that's shown right here, because it's at the center of a circle, that's called a central angle. An arc is any unbroken part of the circle consisting of two points at least. So this is an arc right here. And the symbol for it, if you want to talk about how big that arc is, the measure of arc DE, and you put an arc symbol over it. So the, if it's a, mm, if it's a minor arc, this red one is called a minor arc. It's equal to this angle. So let's call this 80 degrees. So that makes that arc 80 degrees. The major arc would be this back side of it. All of this would be the major arc. And you get that from 360 minus 80. Okay, so let's write that down. So the measure of the big arc, which is D, F, E. And in order to make it go around backwards, you have to go from D to F to E. That is 360 minus 80, which is 180. The arc DE is the same as the measure of the angle D C E, which is 80. I just made up the 80. Oh, this is 280, sorry. I just made up those numbers to go with the picture. Um, if the endpoints lie on a diameter, like let's say this kept going and created a diameter, then this arc would be 180 degrees. So the whole circle is 360 degrees, half the circle is 180 degrees, and that's called a semicircle, half the circle. So that would be like EDG. All right, and you can add arcs together, just like I did. Um, that's what that last box says. The measure of an arc formed by two adjacent arcs is the sum of the arcs, so you can make a big arc out of two small arcs. Um, let's see, if you know these, if you know two angles are the same, like I know those two angles are the same, 
they're going to cut uh, the same size arc. So that's what that first one says. And if you know that two cords are the same, so this cord and this cord, if I know they're the same, then they also cut equal arcs. I guess that's kind of intuitive, I don't know. And if you know that the arcs are the same, then you know the angles are the same. So they all three go together. Oh, that is so funny. I'm here over spring break, and that's 4.05. That's the bell to go home, I guess. <laughs> I have to vacate the building. So you know that the um, chords are the same. You know that the arcs are the same, arc and the angles are the same. So all these things all go together. Q, X, R is that angle on the left, and Z, X, Y is the angle on the right. All right. Then this symbol here, remember these arrows on the lines? means these two lines are parallel. So if you have parallel chords, that also makes two arcs that are the same. Right? This one's tracking parallel to this one, so they're cutting the same arc. So arc AC is the same as arc BD. All right, couple practice problems. So, okay, take a look at this picture. J H I K L. All right. So, question one: What is the measure of arc J L? So here's J L. That's that arc. Well, this is a 30, so this is a 30. That's a 60, so that's a 60. That's a 90, so that's a 90. So I have a 90 and a 30, which adds up to 120. What about JIL? So that's J, I, and then, oops, that half of the circle. This whole half of the circle is 180 plus this extra 60. So we have 3x has to equal 2x plus 27 minus 2x off both sides, x equals 27. So the measure of arc rs is 3 times 27, which is 81. Alright, what about this guy? Well. This is a congruent arc, so that means this angles are congruent. So I can say that 4x plus 25, whoops, I drew over it, has to equal 5x. Minus 4x minus 4x, x is 25. So the angle QPR, QPR is 4 times 25. 25. Alright, so that one and that one are both saying like if you know that the arcs are the same, then the chords are the same. If you know that the arcs are the same, then the angles are the same. Here, if you know that the chords are the same, actually, do we know that the chords are the same? Hmm. We know that the angles are the same. Well, if the angles are the same, then the chords are the same. So what does that say? Y plus 4. Don't be confused by the parentheses. That's just... Um, putting units on it. y plus 4 equals 2y minus 3. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is the second, third time it's happened where subtract the y's off both sides, add the 3 over. That the algebra has been so super easy. Okay, so the y is 7, so how long is wx? 2 times 7 minus 3, 11. Alright, and then the last theorem we learned 
you've got parallel lines. Okay, it doesn't have the symbol on there for parallel, but it says the word parallel, so you know they're parallel. And if you have two parallel lines, then they cut the same arcs. 2x minus 20 equals x. Whoa, 2x minus 20 equals x plus 20 minus x. Add 20. So x is 40, which makes arc AB 40 plus 20. Don't forget, arcs and angles are measured in degrees. All right, I think today there's a cool classwork. Yeah, all right, so we'll get with Mrs. Simons or Mrs. Stevens, whoever your teacher is, and um, I think we're going to do some final exam review with this classwork. Thanks, hope it was all good. <laughs>